Hey, what are you playing on? I've been in there five well, minutes. Are you going to tell her to wind down, the neck? You'll have him completely. She's banging on the door for England. You're telling me to keep Both it Both of you, I remember. She gets away with murder. Look, what do you want me to do, Patrick? Wait here and wait till she comes out and then throttle her. You're that a spoiled brat, Tinty. Today. Are you sure we can afford a second mortgage? How did you get to be so tight fisted? She's first born's 18th birthday. Look, I didn't even want children, you pay for it. If you really want to go to Amsterdam for Carl Stag do next month, I think about keeping me sweet. Hang on, am I the only one around here who's got any sense? Everyone knows that place is a ripple. No matter how many times we have this conversation, Greg, that is the venue we're having. You know, meanness is a really unattractive quality. Do you want to stick the boot in as well, while you got it? We've seen it in about 20 minutes. Can I have a charger? Why do you have to text every five minutes? Beth! Anyone who wants to live for it now? Come on, please. Oh, I need to check something online first. No, 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 there's no time. It's now or the bus. Oi, space cadet, come on. Move yourself. I'm only in for a couple of hours on Friday anyway. Why don't you guys come home and do some revision before you get into weekend mode then, won't you? Oh, no, I was going straight to it. No, I was thinking you'd come straight home. Well, at my A levels. Yeah, best advice, Bob. Greg, don't start her off. Come on. I'll see you later. All right, see you. Have a good day. You too. Have a lovely day. See you later. Will you tell Mum I'll probably go around to Rachel's this afternoon, stay at hers? No, 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 no. I'm not doing your dirty work for you, sorry. Well, I'm cheer up. Weekend tomorrow. might rouse you, you lazy mare. Was the horror hound from hell? It was here because I had it on yesterday. I'll try your room. Absolutely gorgeous as ever. What do you mean? I'm sorry, I don't quite understand. It's gone straight to answer for. I blame the parents. Oh, look, haven't you got somewhere to go, something to do? Mum, I break out. I've been revising. Further proof that I'm actually the good child in this tragic household. I don't understand. She's never done anything like this before. Never. Psychologists say not giving kids enough boundaries. Yeah, well, I'll boundary you if you don't put a sock well, in it. Stop winding me up, Patrick. Now's not the time. She's got some nerve to stand up to Husey, though. That's pure kudos. I can't believe we didn't notice anything this morning. Look, they're probably putting it all out of proportion. You know what they're like up there. They're always... Where the hell have you been? Why didn't you answer your phone? What do you think you're playing at? All right, hold on, Lou. Let's get the facts, yeah? 
the school uh, saying there's been a an incident with you and Mrs. Hughes. What happened? When was the last time you heard her speak? Well, you've dropped her off at school all week. Surely you had a conversation in the car? Yeah, obviously, yeah, must have done. What about you? How's she been at home? Um. <laughs> if it's any consolation, it took a standoff between us before I realised there was something wrong. If you don't mind me asking, are there any problems at home? We have our moments, like every family. She hated <laughs> getting that brace on her teeth. She's dead self-conscious about it. Maybe it's something to do with that. It could be anything, but we need to get to the bottom of it as soon as possible. Yeah, obviously. That's why we're here, isn't it? Maybe you need to speak to your GP. Our GP? Well, I'm afraid that apart from being sympathetic, there's really not much else we can do. We don't have that level of expertise. Obviously, other members of staff are aware of the situation, and I can assure you, while this problem exists, there won't be any pressure on Beth from us. OK? Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> what type of parents don't notice their own child isn't speaking? Well, this is the quietest she's been since she was born. Peace at last. Greg. I'm joking. She knows I'm joking, don't you, Kitty? Has anything happened? Has anyone upset you? Whatever it is, you can tell us. You know, we love you very much, don't you, Kitty? Nothing you could ever say could change that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We don't want to put any pressure on you, but we can't help you if you don't talk to us, love. <laughs> what, I just sneezed? can't force her to talk to us. I won't talk if you put all that sharing and caring rubbish on me either. Since when have we been the let's discuss our feelings type of family? <laughs> Say, ah, are you in any pain? Does it feel like there's anything in your throat stopping you from speaking? So you're being deliberately uncooperative. Oh, if you could answer that, we wouldn't be here, would we? Sorry, sorry, it's, well, we've been through all this. We'll do some tests first, general stuff, and then think perhaps we should look at... What? Uh, shall we ask Beth to wait outside? No, say what you have to say, it's about her, isn't it? Okay, I would like to consult a child psychologist. Dad. What's up, love? Oh, nothing there. It's my specs. I must have come down somewhere. Watch this. Your specs? Yeah. I just had them two minutes ago. You sure you didn't leave them in the house? No. I just had them. Didn't you see me? Two minutes ago, they were. Don't say anything. I bet you left them on the kitchen table. Uh, I'm not stupid. I've just, uh, I've just used them. They were here. Dad? What are you looking for? My specs. I've lost my specs. They're on your head, you blurt.
Just clean that kitchen. And your point is? My point is, I'm the only one who bothers putting stuff away. <sighs> Making a coffee, chill out. I'll chill out when you lot start cleaning up after yourselves, all right? What's your problem? What's my problem? <sighs> Forget it, I'm gone. Stop making that noise. I'm the one that just stops speaking, no one listens to me anyway. You just get off the 97. Why would you get off the stop early? You're getting weirder, I swear. Look, Chris. Ah, where's your manners? Say yes, please. Just say yes, then. Go on. That's two nights on the trot. How come you got to go? Oh, I don't know. Call Rob, ask him. Give it more notice. Look, if there's a new store opening, there's a new store opening. I'm an area manager. What do you want me to do? There's always a new store opening. I never know where you're going to be lately. Oh, well, I'll ask Rob to get me chip. I don't make you feel any better. What's the matter with you lately? Mum, look at this. If I've given you a complex or something, you know, going on about your brace and that, it's just the buzz in it, you know, it's just what we do. You know, I call you metal mouth, you call me snake features. It don't mean anything, it's a, a term of endearment. The thing is, I don't know what you're playing at, but you need to stop it now. Is this about the birthday party? Because if it is, you know what, that's childish. And you get the works when it's your turn. You know, when I was 14, she wouldn't let me go anywhere. You can come and go as you please. You're the one who's got it easy. You're the golden girl. You have a lot to yourself seeing anyway. I'm glad to get out of here. Seriously, Beth, it's my last few months at home. Why are you spoiling it? Say something. Why are you being an idiot, Beth? If you're trying to guilt trip people, it's not going to work. Fine. Go on your own. You know what? I think you're a selfish little cow. I think you've always been a selfish little cow. This is just attention stuff, this. I reckon we should all just ignore you and you'd soon open your gob. You're not that special, Beth. Seriously, you're not. Thank you, Beth. I'll see you same time next week. If you want to see me before, you can always text me. Try to write down your thoughts in the book. Don't worry about making sense. Whatever comes to mind is fine, okay? Everything is confidential. But I just need to have a quick word with your mum.
she's nice, isn't she? And like she said, everything is confidential. You know, whatever goes on in there is your business, love. It's gonna be all right. It's all gonna be all right. Whatever it is, we can sort it out. It's just a blip, that's all. All things pass. We'll soon be back to normal. enough money to drive a car like that. She's wearing some nice designer gear. Mm. <laughs> I bet it's drugs. <laughs> Didn't someone say he was involved in that charity scam? Oh no, it was me. No, I told you that. Oh, they reckon he got away with about 150 grand. <gasps> no, anyone else would have been sent down, but you know, he's got connections, hasn't he? There's some place football with our pals. Um, and... Maybe we should, you know. You enjoying that, hun? picking up later. I don't want you getting the bus on your own. But Beth! Look. <laughs> now you may think I care more about pads, but that's not true. You know, I didn't work when he was born. We were together 24 hours a day. He's always been more clingy. You always want to do everything by yourself. It was hard sometimes watching you totter off to school, not even a look behind. You never cried when you said goodbye to me, not once. But that doesn't mean I don't love you, because I do. I love you loads. seem to be any progress at all. Just this silence. You know, if there was something, some glimmer of hope. I understand it's frustrating, but you need to be patient. We can only move at Beth's pace. She needs to find a way to decipher her feelings before she can communicate them. 
She needs to feel safe. But it's been weeks. She hasn't written anything that book you gave her. How do you know that? I've got the kettle on. I got you some of that um, shower gel you like. The lime one. It's in here somewhere. And I bought I bought you a little present. It's real silver. Quite pretty, isn't it? I've had your name engraved on it. And my mobile number, just in case you know you come unstuck when you're out and you can't. Oh, you can always tuck it in if you don't want anyone to see it. phone, didn't you? I'm sorry. No wonder you're angry. You've every right to be. Things are complicated. I want you to know that I never meant for any of this to turn out. I, I regret it. I do. I want you to know that you and Patrick are my priority. You come before anything. I want you to know that. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking if I care so much, how could I have done what I've done? But People do stupid things. I love you, Mum, and I don't want to lose her. I've been an idiot. I hate myself for it, I do. But it's over now, and I want you to know that I'm going to make everything fine. I promise you. Look, we can... Oh, the traffic is terrible. There must be a match on. We can put this behind us, kitten, yeah? Get back to normal. Greg? In the kitchen, love. I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Me too. Yeah, all of us together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute. Well, it might only be for a couple of sessions. No way. I know it sounds intimidating, love, but she said it's all very informal. It's very relaxed. What sort of things does she want to know? Well, she'll ask us all sorts of questions, like which family member we most identify with or least oh, identify with. God. There's nothing wrong with us. It's Beth that needs the therapy. She's the loo. Hey.
What are you doing? sniffing your jacket. Why would she be doing that? What? Beth was sniffing your jacket. Why? I don't know. You sure? Yeah. I just don't think you have to pick at the same scab all the time like you do. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, look, Patrick's not going to be doing it anyway, so it won't work, will it? Answer the question. What did you mean just then? Oh, come on, Lou. You know exactly what I mean. You just won't leave things alone. Every time I want to sleep on something, you won't let me because we have to discuss it all the time. Look, this isn't about us. Don't you give a damn what's happening to your well, daughter? Of course I do. I just don't think the old family has to go and see some trick cyclist. Plus, we've got Patrick to consider, haven't we? Okay, you are really relieved when he said he wouldn't go. What? Maybe it's just an excuse you need. What are you it. talking about? I'm talking about why you don't want to do everything you can to make sure Beth gets better. Oh, all right, let's talk about the time when you, Point Blanc, refused to look after Beth, when me and your mum had to... Beth! Bethany! Now, I'll drag you in if I have to. <sighs> I know what I did. And I want you to know that I'm sorry, I'm really, I'm truly sorry. <sighs> Everything went the way it was supposed to with pads, but with you. I came round from the anaesthetic and your dad was holding you and I thought, who's that baby? What's Greg doing holding a baby? I couldn't recognise you. I couldn't. I couldn't see anything familiar. Your, your face, your, your smell. You. Most mothers usually recognise their own baby's cry. I got it into my head. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't look at you without thinking, "Who's that baby?" <laughs> Uh, you didn't, you didn't feel like mine. I don't know, I, without your grand, I don't know what I'd have done. I, I slept most of the time. And looking after Patrick was the only thing that seemed real. The only thing that kept me from going Everything else felt like a dream. I wasn't, I wasn't very well. And I had to get to know you and that took me a while and I am sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> You shouldn't have 
to move to Rachel's. This is his home. Yeah, no, but the way things are around here at the moment, it makes sense, you know, with his exams coming up. When are you thinking of going? Next weekend. <laughs> I don't know why he couldn't tell me himself. Come on. Don't be nice to me, Greg. I couldn't cope at the moment. This stops now. I know that I've done wrong, Beth, but I'm trying to put it right. Everyone's got feelings, you know, not just you. Your brother's got his exams, your mum, she's... She's in a right state. If you're continuing to do this to punish me for what I've done, fine. Go ahead, but what about everyone else, eh? I've done wrong, me. Not your brother, your mother, me. So, what's it gonna take, hmm? Do you want me to tell her? Do you? Just say the word. I'll go downstairs right now and I'll tell her everything. Just say yes, and I'll tell her why you're doing this. No? Well, until you're prepared to open your mouth to speak, you've no right to judge anyone, Beth. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Yeah, I'll see you there. It's your uncle Nathan. The girls are still shopping, so uh, we're gonna meet him at the restaurant. Have an early tea. Sorted. I don't know what else to try. You know, it's like she wants to, but... Wow. Oh, that was made for you. Oh, Beth, you look beautiful. Mind you, trust her shoes are most expensive one in the shop. Do you really want it, Beth? You have to have it. For Pad's party. My treat for my favourite niece. And I've only got the one. But... She'll be all right, you. I know she will. Trouble with City supporters is you never have any grace about other teams, other supporters. Say he's the man you score. No, when we play a Southern team, you support them. And when you play a Southern team... Are you team, having a laugh? Is he having a laugh? <laughs> Don't involve me. My loyalties are torn. Is anyone having dessert? Oh, where's the menu? Yeah. Beth? Do you want some? What do you fancy? I'll have the triple chocolate cake we can share, yeah? Yeah, let's order a bottle of fizz to celebrate. Wasn't going to say anything, but... Mate? Oh, behave. Now's as good a time as any. What are you celebrating? We're going to Australia. We're emigrating. Oh, my God! Australia. Get that quiet. <laughs> well, that's a long way. What, what are we going to do without you? Oh, we'll thrive, probably. Oh, don't set me off. 
please. <laughs> I've wanted to go for a few years now, and Tony's never been keen, and then a couple of weeks ago, out of the blue, she just says, let's do it, so... I wasn't going to say anything until after Pad's birthday party. Well, what difference does it make? I'll have somewhere to stay when I'm backpacking, of course <laughs> you will. <laughs> when? Oh, it's all got to be sorted, yeah, of course. It'll take months to organise. Yeah, but well, we've got the ball rolling, that's the main thing, so, you know, something to look forward to, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, here's to your new life in uh, Oz. Cheers. 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 Congratulations, mate. Oh, yeah, no. So you've got a couple of now, when you're back packing, yeah, you get them grades. Yeah. There's all those uh, criminals it, down there, aren't they? You're going to be uh, well at home. Good day, hasn't it? <laughs> Australia. What do you reckon, babes? Appreciate it, don't we? <sighs> Sorry, this is what she's like. She changes with the wind. Just in case the words get lost forever, these are the ones that tell the true story of me. My name's Beth, I am 14, and when I was little I used to think the world was just the way it looks. It's not, nothing is. 
It started as a dare. At school, I'm not one of the cool girls. No one has ever been interested in what I have to say, but now everyone in school knows who I am. It made me feel good at first, having people look at me like I was special. I wanted to hold on to that feeling for a while, until people started telling me secrets. The story of me being born is a lie. When I asked mum about it, she just made things up, just to make me feel better, so I had a nice story like Pad's. Everyone likes hearing their own story, but the truth is, she couldn't look after me because I didn't feel like her little girl. It wasn't her fault, she was ill. There's a man in our house who looks just like my dad, but it isn't him. Can't be, because my dad loves my mum. He makes us laugh and says nice things and takes care of us. My dad works hard. He says family comes first. He wouldn't let anybody hurt us. The man in our house tells lies. He sneaks around whispering and making phone calls. Our Patrick blames me for having to move out. I'm spoiling things for him. I'm sending him away. I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to hurt anybody, but the truth needs to be told. You know that saying? Knowledge is power. It's rubbish. Loads of sayings are rubbish. Like, silence is golden or the truth is always glorious. I don't know what things mean anymore. Words like family, home, love. My auntie says we're a close family, but they're just words. Some words are powerful. They can get stuck in your throat or lost in your head. They can be as sharp as a knife or too heavy to carry. Some need to be said over and over until they make sense. Some should never be said. I'm sick of everybody else's words. I want to find my own. I want to tell the truth.